So I thought I would um, do a video and show you how to add the name before uh, the back gets completed on the snow baby stocking because somebody said they were having a problem with that. So I'm running this really fast. This is the complete stitch out. You can see you have added here just your two front pieces, which is the front and the lining. And then you stitch out your design. Now you see here where it's stitching over the top. You've already trimmed this top. So this satin line can stitch nice and clean across there. I'm going to slow it down now and continue stitching the top so the satin is all completed. Okay, and now after that satin is complete on the front only, you have not added any back pieces yet, you're going to add your back piece and this um, member commented that she couldn't figure out how to do it and still have a nice clean back. So what I would suggest is adding one piece and that one piece will cover this line of stitching right around here, which is the full back. And you're going to add that to the back of your hoop, you know, on the stabilizer on the back. Stitch out your name and I'll send it forward again. It's going to stitch out my name. Uh, let's move this a little faster. Okay, almost done. Okay, now I'll sew it down again. Now that it has stitched out your name, it's going to stop for the next color change. And the next color change will be where you add the second backing, which covers the stitching, and it will now stitch an outline all the way around here. And when it does that, after that's complete, you've got two pieces on the back and it does cover the name stitching. So there it goes. Okay. And now, whoops, I meant to pause it. Before it starts this next, let's back that up a little bit. Okay. Before it starts the outline, I mean, before it starts the uh, finish where it'll do the satin, it has just stitched an outline that holds your two back pieces on the hoop with your two front pieces that have been completed. Now, you can trim around it so that when you stitch this final satin, it'll be a nice clean finish. You've trimmed this completely. It's going around. It's just kind of like an applique where you trim it and then stitch the satin. This is the same basic idea. It's like an applique. That's why I call my towel holders quilted applique because you are trimming them before you do the, the uh, final satin stitching. So that way you have two pieces front, two pieces back, which is just, you know, front with a lining, back with a lining, and everything is completely covered up. There's no stitching to show, no, you know, naughty stitching and all that to show. It's nice and pretty. Yeah, it can be done. So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.